What's up everybody? Today we've got a uh, 2014 Ford F-150. Uh, got called out to check an APP code, uh, which is accelerator pedal, pedal code. Um, and on the pre-scan, you can see right here we've got a uh, we've got a P2127 and a P2138, which is both APP codes. All right, and looking up at the diagram, we've got this APP one and two here. We're focused on these, this right here, this APP two, because if we go over to our live data for throttle controls, let this boot in here. Sorry about all the road noises. I'm kind of close to the road here. But if we look at our APP2 voltage, it is basically zero volts. And if I push the throttle down, it doesn't go up at all. Um, doesn't really do anything. So, looks like we've got a, either a voltage issue or a ground issue. So I'm gonna do a few quick little tests here. So if we take and unplug the pedal by looking at the diagram, I know this pin six is my voltage and the uh, pin five is the trigger or the sin signal wire. So if I just take my test light and jump the two together I don't have any voltage change on my scan tool okay so is it a signal wire issue or a voltage wire issue well quick test is by the diagram I also know that pin 1 is the voltage ref for the sensor 1 so if I jump to pin one, as you can see on my scan data here, we get five volts. So that tells me the issue is on pin six, the voltage side of it. So back probed at the pedal. And then also back probed at the PCM. Let's go over to our scope. And as you can see, we've got a uh, five volt here on our yellow trace, which is channel one, which is pinned at the PCM. And channel two is zero volts, which is pinned at the pedal. So what does that tell us? We've got a broken wire in our APP2 V-Ref circuit, which is the five volt ref to the, to the pedal for the APP2 circuit. So now all we gotta do is just track down where we've got a broken wire. And that's not really gonna be all that easy, um, unless it's somewhere obvious. So looking at our diagram here, this uh, APP V-Ref2 doesn't show to have any kind of connectors at all for us to be able to split this circuit in half at all or break it up into sections so what i what i've done is try to get y'all under here where you can kind of see i've got the harness coming off the app here i've just kind of reached my hand up in here and feeling around and I can feel like the harness goes up in behind the column here. If I wiggle that, okay. So if I wiggle the harness, you can kind of see moving that, which goes out right here. And then goes out under the hood on the driver's side. <sighs> so 
I feel like my issue is going to be right in here because this harness has been cut apart for some reason or another. So I'm going to do a real good inspection right there. See if I can find my wire and see if I can find a break in it or a cut or some corrosion, something like that. Okay, so if we look at our diagram, we know it doesn't have any connectors in here. And this little kind of indicator here, I'm pretty sure Ford makes labels that for like a twisted pair, like wires that are twisted together. So we've got this blue and gray wire and a yellow and green wire. And so we followed the harness. So we followed the harness up from the pedal going out the firewall on this side which is down here and this was already kind of cut apart and everything and this is our twisted pair and let me zoom you in here we got a blue with a gray wire and a yellow with green wire so that's our wires we're looking for Okay, so since we know this is our power, i basically just pierce probe into it. Because I want to know, do we got power right here before it goes into the boot here? And as you can see, on our scanner, or on our scope, we don't have any power there. Uh, we still have it at the PCM, none over here. So, uh, the shop told me that they had this kind of up and out and right down here they were kind of wiggling stuff around and that's when they they lost the voltage altogether apparently before it was kind of intermittent they could see it come and go in the data and they were just kind of wiggling the harness around and then they've lost it all together um, so let's uh, see if we can get down there and find our wires Always look at everything really closely. Right here. Maybe some rodent damage. I don't know. Let's get this apart where we can see what's going on right there. So I get the question all the time. You know, it's just a broke wire. Why can't you just do an overlay? Because my answer is almost always if there's one messed up wire there's multiple and this is a prime prime example uh customer complaint was really only the one app code the other codes that was in was from them having things unplugged and whatnot but now that i have found our uh broken wire okay we also see that we've got another wire right here almost completely broken and one right here that has been chafed or rubbed. So, that's exactly why I don't do overlays. Uh, so there we go. Got the wires that were messed up, soldered and heat shrinked back together. I'll, uh, I'll tape all this harness back up with the uh, anti-abrasion tape and get all this kind of put back how it's supposed to be. Okay, so I've got the harness all taped back up here. I've still got it loose here. Still got my, my uh, pierce probe in it right here. And just to verify the repair, I've got both of my engine computer and my pin over there, five volts. So there we go. That is got, making sure I got voltage there. And whenever I get it completely finished, we'll go back into the scan data and look at the, the sensor voltage as we press the pedal. Okay, so as you've seen, um, that's exactly why I don't do overlays. It's because clearly there is multiple wires damaged. Um, so yeah, I don't ever do overlays. I always find the fault. Um, if they don't want to pay to get to the fault and fix the fault, I usually just turn the job down because really I'd rather fix every issue they got than to 
patch it and then later on you know have another issue and then i got to do another one so i never do overlays um if they don't want to pay to get to the part or get to the problem you know it's not my problem but uh yeah um and as you can see i'll put the overlay here about where i was checking it with data um yeah we got good pedal movement uh they agree the status stays okay. Uh, the percentage goes all the way to 100%. And uh, we're going to call this one a fix and uh, get on to the next one. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day.